probably the, the most important thing that I do that establishes rapport is learn their names. Now, I, I, again, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to over-dramatize the reputation that I have, but apparently most people, if they don't know anything else about me in the classroom, what they know about me is I know everybody's name. Now, and, and I'll have classes of 100, and I'll have multiple classes of 100. And this started a bunch of years ago when I realized, because first of all, I'm calling on people all the time. So I'm, and I, the first time I call on them, I ask their names. There is a mythology that has developed. This is fascinating, by the way. You're talking about cognition and how people see things and see what they want to see. There's a mythology, and I know this because I hear it all the time, that I learn everybody's name the first day and I never forget it. And that is totally not true. What they're completely forgetting is at least the half a dozen times I say, what's your name again? What's your name again? What's your name again? But they don't remember that. What they remember is I learned their name immediately. So again, it doesn't matter if it takes you a while to learn their names. And by the way, all the fun is out of this now. I'll explain that in a minute. But um, the point is, is that it started when I realized at the end of the semester that I kind of just naturally, by calling on people, learned most of the names in the class. So then it became a challenge to try to learn everybody's name in the class by the end of the semester. And then it became a challenge to learn their names earlier and earlier in the semester. And, of course, I'm, I'm, I like to be... So I like to be unobtrusive. I like to learn their names without them knowing I've learned their names. And that's the most... You call on somebody and, and you've never called... You call them by name because you saw them turn in their paper or, you know, so you heard somebody just, you know, refer to them or you pay attention in that way. And you call on somebody the first time by their name, their jaw drops. They're paralyzed. They're, they're completely <laughs> stunned. And again, a mythology has generated that somehow I'm telepathic or I have an eidetic <laughs> memory or something. And, you know, all it is is that they forget all the things that lead up to that. It's just amazing. It's fascinating. That's a whole subject of study. At this point, it is almost ridiculously easy because now, I'm sure most of you probably realize, they actually publish the student photos in the UDSIS thing. Well, that takes all the fun out of it. But <laughs> Anyways, but now I'll tell you what I did over the winter semester. The first time I realized that, I came in the first day and I knew everybody's name. That blew their minds. That was really effective. Anyway, so, um, and of course that is, I've got to tell you again, the single most common comment on the evaluations is that I can't believe you knew my name or knew everybody's name. He's the only person at the university who knows my name. And that's pathetic. But uh, I do think that's, that's pathetic for the student, uh, not just necessarily for the faculty. But uh, the downside, and one student wrote on the evaluations, you had me hooked when you learned my name before I learned yours. You know, that's the kind of thing that's really effective. Um, but the downside, there is a downside to this. I write hundreds of letters of recommendation a year. 